what is this free plugin that Waves decided to give us? What is this here? This is a sample finder. And the coolest thing about this, you can add, for example, your splice folders. I can go here and I can completely add my splice folders. I can open it and I can put everything in there. Let's see, open. So my splice folder is right here. I want you guys to see this because you can localize all of your samples into the Cosmos sample finder. You've literally just assigned a organizer. <laughs> it's like having a person to help you organize your folders <laughs> in your studio or robot or something. <laughs> your Android and artificial intelligence is an AI. That's definitely worth being free. <laughs> Actually, it's worth paying some money for. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am Archie Beats and I am here to help. And today there has been a development. Waves Audio just released two plugins. One is free, the Cosmo, and it works with the CR9, which is only $9.99. Let's go ahead and give a first impression walkthrough. Let's go. So we're not going to waste any time. We're going right to the screen and diving right into it. You guys are probably like, what are these and what is this? This right here is the CR8 Creative Sampler, which is $9.99, but this right here is Cosmo, the Cosmo Sample Finder, which is absolutely free. If you take a look at the CR8 here, the CR8, as we stated, is a creative sampler. So for example, this is capable of eight sample layers to create a rich texture. Also, you can stack and mix those eight layers and split them across your keyboard. So you can actually assign, which is really cool and convenient as a music producer and you also have five stretching options here voice classic beat harmonic and melodic and as you guys see the menus change as you go through those stretching options there you can put it in play mode or launch mode and as you guys can see your attack as far as your adsr it grays out your legato everything grays out but once you go to play it's back. It has root and BPM detection right here. And you can drag and drop four LFOs, sequencers, and four ADSRs modules on any CR8 control. And each one of those, you can individually cut off resonance drive for each sample with four assignable groups. So you also have, you can select your groups here and you can give them their individual control as far as your cutoff resonance and drive. And you can assign keyboard functions to the CR8 control as well. And it's absolutely playable. And the internal sample mixer is easy to mix. So in order to, this right here, I got it in standalone mode, which down here in my dock, I just pressed that. But you can actually access Cosmo by hitting that search button there. Now let's get to the free sampler. But before we go there, just keep in mind as well, the CR8 has over 2,500 free samples that's built inside of here. And it also is packed with over 800 creative sample presets, which is pretty awesome. What is this free plugin that Waves decided to give us? What is this here? This is a sample finder. And the coolest thing about this, you can add, for example, your splice folders. I can go here and I can completely add my splice folders. I can open it and I can put everything in there. Let's see. Open. So my splice folder is right here. I want you guys to see this because you can localize all of your samples into the Cosmos sample finder and you can type in, for example, piano, right? That's just for craps and giggles. And it will go through not only my library, but also the Cosmos sample finder. That's a piano. And this is all within. Oh, I like that. Oh. I like that. Oh, what I'm doing, what I'm doing. I'm trying to walk through this. You guys got me want to create right now. This is a very intuitive, very, because we haven't even, we just touch the, the surface, just barely touch the surface. You can turn, like I said, turn all your sample folders into one instant searchable database. And right here, you can see it with the sidebar and the toolbar. It's loading up Splice right now as we speak. And here's the crazy part. It analyzes and auto tag your one shots and loops using the AI. So Cosmos is an AI. And you can search all your samples by instrument, key, BPM, character, and more. For example, let me just put dark. Let's just search dark. And what did it do? Bass. There we go. Happy. So it searched based on the name and characteristic. The name of it is Happy Mute Guitar. 
We happy now. Ain't we riding to the club? Yeah. We happy. Sorry, I'm getting a little country up here, but you guys see it's just a great tool overall you guys see all of this you need to download this and put this on your computer and i have links in the description and this video is not sponsored you guys can definitely dive down there and check it out you have three accessible browsing views as far as waveform list and cosmo and you can also create sample collections as you guys just saw and i can create my own collection and favorite for like like you can quickly recall for future references and it's compatible with wave aif um, ogg and flag files and you can use it as standalone so as you guys can see it's not conflicting with my standalone that i have out of the doll but they work together if i close it out whatever i do in here it's gonna be as the same if i were just to go to my cr8 and just hit it from here let's find piano again see if i can find that because that was cool right so drag this here and there we go notice that once i drag the sample in it went to harmonic um if you want to do traditional sampling you want to make sure you put it on classic because harmonic has a more time stretching approach to it once we did that and brought it in we don't need to slice or anything as you guys see and so also keep in mind when you double click the sample or drag it in it's going to be assigned to whether you have a MIDI controller, a synthesizer, or a drum kit, or a, a drum pad, any type of drum machine, your finger drumming and finger sampling or whatnot. It's going to be assigned to the actual C key, unless you change the root right here. But what I did was, no, let's, let's change that back to where we were, C3. So we have C3 now. As you guys see, it's an A minor, but it's assigned to the C key. Didn't change the key, but it changed the positioning of where the notes are on your keyboard or MIDI controller or drum machine if you follow me matter of fact let's switch it to harmonic so we can have more control over the speed this part is insane right here insane right so the width left to right you can go centered you bring it in wider so i like that protocol right there because you can technically add four samples in here right now and then space them differently within you know within this one plugin which is really cool and width is different from panning i like that approach on the way this ui is, is built and also just the way sound works period normally you just get a pan button and you can add some sort of effect that give it more stereo width which is really cool but you know in combination with speed and other things you see you have more control when you hit the harmonics now also i want to touch bases on the other one for you traditional samplers out there beat is more of the approach for if you want to get to slicing so you really 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 great samplers out there you're going to find that one with a beat option very useful let me just say that so and also the volume here and let's get the speed back to normal so let's do the filter okay I like that, that's cool. And then the high pass filter, low pass filter, turn up the resonance, give it a little, a little distortion in there. So I really do like the just overall control with this user interface over, you know, you even have Glide up here. You've literally just assigned a organizer. <laughs> it's like having a person to help you organize your folders <laughs> in your studio or a robot or something, <laughs> your Android, it. artificial intelligence, it's an AI. That's definitely worth being free. <laughs> Actually, it's worth paying some money for. And the CR8 is $9.99. So you guys, make sure y'all check it out below. I'm so excited about this. And you guys, we went over what they want us to know. And this is my first impression. They told me about this. The team at Waves told me about this. And I'm not paying for this. They told me about this a couple of weeks back. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to do the first impression because I like to kind of just dive into it. I 
when I saw the promo and I saw what this thing was, I was like, you know what? I want them to experience that first time using with me. So I really do hope that you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video. And also do not forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Archie Beats and check out the Waves CR8 below. And I have a lot of Wave videos coming out, y'all. And the Cosmo Sample Finder, check it out below. Use my link, check it out. You do have to shout out when you use my link. So you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to be great and create. Hey, happy creating and have a great performance. This is Barcha Beats, and I'm signing off.